The man, military officials say, left his base, went to a nearby village in Kandahar province, and began a shooting spree, killing people in their homes. Bales on his fourth combat deployment is based at Joint Base Lewis McCord near Tacoma, Washington. The 38-year-old has not been formally charged for the deadly shootings, but Afghan villagers are pushing for Bales to be returned to Afghanistan for trial. Meanwhile, local Afghans are intensifying their demand to end the 10-year-old war in Afghanistan. They believe the U.S. government needs to change its course uh, after last uh, Sunday's mass murder. The White House plans to pull out troops by 2014, but the local Afghans tell Ron Forrest Dahlin they want action faster. About 100 peaceful protesters braved the rain and cold in Fremont to remember 16 murder victims. They say images of the dead children depict a war that's lost its purpose. Osama has been murdered, so if he was this horse, why is troops still in Afghanistan? Many believe the latest civilian casualties are another example why it's time to bring the troops home. And we're looking for a swift withdrawal of U.S. troops in Afghanistan. Local Afghan community leader Abu Bakr Mojadidi recently changed his position on the war after some U.S. soldiers made embarrassing headlines, urinating on Afghan bodies, burning Korans, and now killing 16 innocent people. He believes if you can't win the hearts of the people there, the war is lost. So why put the troops at further risk? We don't want any more troops to die in Afghanistan either, as we don't want our own people dying in Afghanistan. We want the uh, children of America back home to their loved ones, their families. Even some veterans agree it's time to leave. I don't think it's doing any good. I think it's costing the U.S. people a lot of money. Many here at the demonstration hope President Obama will listen. Fremont, after all, has the highest Afghan population in the U.S. For me, the biggest thing was having a sense of unity. After the Saturday afternoon rally, protesters signed a letter and this Banner, demanding the president to change the course of the war. Organizers plan to get Bay Area lawmakers to sign the banner before sending it to the White House. In Fremont, I'm Dahlen, Cron 4 News. Next at 11, Cron 4 is...